Hello and welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss that whether a partial differential equation is forming a hyperbola, a parabola or an ellipse. Okay. So what you need to do, uh, first of all remember quadratic formula where we need to find out the discriminant b square minus 4ac and uh, we have to find out whether it is positive, negative or zero to find out whether the partial differential equation is, an, uh, is a hyperbola, parabola or an ellipse. Okay, let's begin. So let's say you have second order partial differential equation of the form. Let's say a d square phi by dx square plus b d square phi by dx dy I mean del x del y and c double differentiation with respect to i square. Okay. Now, you have the coefficient when you are double differentiating a function with respect to x, with respect to x and y, and with respect to y. Okay. You have a, b, c. Now, you need to find out, you want to find out, and the question is asking you whether this particular equation is whether a hyperbola, parabola, or an ellipse. Then what you need to do, find out discriminant b square minus 4ac. If it will be a positive number, if it will be a positive number, then it will be a hyperbola. If it is equal to 0, then it will be a parabola. And if it is less than 0, then it will be an ellipse. Okay? There, you will get two characteristic solution. Here, one characteristic solution. Here, no solution. Just like we did it, uh, we do generally in quadratic formula form. Okay. So, let's begin with our question. You have, let's say, you have d square phi by dx square plus 1 minus x or x minus 1 d square phi by dy square all right now you want to find out whether this equation is uh, forming a hyperbola parabola of an ellipse so here a is what coefficient of double differentiation with respect to x1 b is coefficient when you are differentiating with respect to x and y there is no x and y so 0 and c is x minus 1 all right so now, if you want find out b square minus 4ac, you will get minus 4ac. That means minus 4x minus 1. Now, let's see if your value of x, if your x would be greater than 1. If it would be greater than 1, let's say 2 or 3 um, or 4, you will get this positive and this will become negative. So, your b square minus 4ac would become negative, right? Negative, less than 0. That means less than 0 is an ellipse. If your equation is less than 1, less than 1, so if x is less than 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm sorry, 0 or minus 1, so minus, let's say it is 0, okay? So, minus 1, minus minus plus then it would become positive right or anything like minus one minus minus positive and then negative that would become negative but whenever you will get any number which will form greater than zero if it would be greater than zero then it will form hyperbola okay and if x is exactly one one minus one is zero b square minus four ac is zero so, 0 means parabola. Alright? I hope you understand that how you can find out any particular partial differential equation to convert to uh, find out whether it is forming an ellipse, a hyperbola and parabola in this way. So, try to do some more questions based on this and um, if you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box and I'll try. Uh, I'll try to answer your questions and I hope you like this video and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself till my next video. Bye bye.